Time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over a post-rotation Crabominable build given to us by Dapper Drabai. I apologize on pronunciation, but uh, that's just what it looks like. Um, so Crabominable here is actually a very interesting Pokemon. He is a non-GX slash EX attacker that can hit for pretty high damage for one energy. Uh, so Crabominable is a stage 1 fighting type with 140 HP and has that gutsy hammer attack. Uh, and again, for one fighting energy, we are going to do 80 damage. That is a lot of damage for one single energy. Um, now the downside to it is if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, it will be taking 10 damage for each of those counters. That is massive, that means Crabominable will go down pretty quickly. But not to say that that's not a bad thing. Uh, Crabominable being a non-EX GX attacker means your opponent is only going to be getting one additional prize, so that's alright. Um, he also has double stop, three fighting energy, it'll also do 80 damage but you get to flip two coins, uh, this deck will do 40 more for each heads. Uh, we will pretty much not be using this. Uh, very rarely actually, uh, it is primarily just going to be going for the Gutsy Hammer. Um, now to partner up with this, we are going to have one Machoke Line. Um, we are only using this for uh, the Daunting Pose, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Uh, your opponent's attacks and abilities can't be uh, can't put damage counters on your benched Pokemon. So it literally will prevent you from bench damage from anything. As long as this Machoke is on the bench, your opponent cannot touch your bench, and that is very important uh, because you are dealing with a lot of lower HP mods. Um, the other mod that is low HP is our Octillery build. Uh, we have the 90 HP Water type Stage 1 with Abyssal Hand. We're not going for hugs. We don't like hugs, we're just going for hands. Uh, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have 5 cards in your hand. Very strong card now, especially in post-rotation. Um, we also have the Tapu Lele GX, which will help us get those wonderful supporters with that Wonder Tag ability. Uh, and it also pairs up as a secondary attacker with the Energy Drive attack, but we will not be trying to use this as much. As you can see, we only have one of them in this deck, and that is due to the low... Uh, we don't want our opponent taking a lot of prizes, so keep that in mind as you play. Um, now, our options here are pretty good. Now, I have changed the deck list from... Uh, He's pretty much had it post-rotation, but there are a few things that I did change, I think? I think there were a few cards I had to change, but nonetheless. Um, we are starting with the Nest Ball. You get to search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench. So this will be literally for Cabrawler, Machop, or Remorade. Pretty good. Uh, we have the Puzzles of Time. Uh, you may play two of these at once if you do. Uh, you can pretty much grab two cards from your discard pile, put them back in your hand. But if you only play one, you can start, you can reorganize the top three cards of your deck. Um, we also have the Rescue Stretcher. Uh, you can put, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or you can shuffle three in any combination back into your deck. Uh, we only run four and four. I know that seems weird, but you need you need six attackers. Krabomble needs a fresh, constant go at this, and with the Rescue Stretcher, we'll be able to keep those lines going. Uh, we are keeping the special charge here because our real only primary use of energy is going to be the strong energy. So if our opponent does stop us with a not like a Noivern GX comes into play, we will not be able to take it out because our only real resource of energy is strong energy. Uh, we are running Super Scoop Up. This will kind of keep up from taking too much damage or potentially being able to use our Tapu Lele a couple times, um, protecting something. I, there's always uses for Scoop Up. Uh, we are using a town map because we want to make sure if we do have Crabominals or Crab Brawlers in the dis in the prize counter, we need to grab them ASAP. Um, we also are using four Ultra Balls, pretty staple stuff here. Um, and our stadium of choice is going to be the Brooklyn Hill. Once during each player's turn, that player can search their deck for a basic water or fighting type Pokemon and put it onto their bench. Now all of our poke Pokemon, excluding the Tapu Lele, are fighting type or water type. So this really helps our flow of the starting few turns. Um, we are also getting an Acerola here. Uh, you can put one put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it back into your hand. So you can kind of scoop up these Scrabomodals if they've managed to survive an attack and kind of just replay them, especially with them only being stage ones. It's not hard to just cycle through them. Uh, and you are going to be grabbing the energy that's attached to it and bringing it back to your hand as well. Uh, we also have the Bridget, pretty standard thing, as long as Tapu Lele and Bridget are together, you can be able to get all your basic Pokemon down pretty much turn one or two. Um, we are running Guzma, uh, we have three of them in this deck, 
You switch one of your opponent's Pokemon into the active position, and then you switch one of yours into the active position. Very, very useful. Uh, we're using a Mallow, very new trainer for me. Um, Mallow is actually very good with Octillery, um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Mallow lets you search for the for two cards, and you get to put them on top of your deck. So you, you literally go for two cards, and then you go for an Octillery. It's literally like going for a teammate, uh, essentially, without having to lose a Pokemon. Uh, we have four sick. Uh, sorry, we have four N, and surprisingly enough, this le this deck list only runs one Sycamore. Uh, I guess it's because you really don't want to be discarding your hand. Uh, next up, we are running one Skyla. This will get us that utility card that we need, uh, either be a supporter for the following turn or be an item card we need immediately. Uh, we are running four choice bands to up that damage output for Crabomitable. Uh, Crabomitable will naturally just do 80 damage, give it a strong energy that'll do 100, and then you're going to be hitting for 130 with a choice band. If you manage to find someone who is weak to fighting, that'll be 260. Not bad at all. Uh, we are running Flowstones in case of, you know, things like Remorade or Tapu Lele getting in the active position. We can't attach uh, the strong energy to Tapu Lele or Octillery, so we need to be able to get them out of the active. And then lastly, we are running one basic fighting energy. Just one. This way we have the opportunity to kind of flow without need of a uh, special energy, but let's be honest here. The majority of the time we will be running those special energies with the special charges to keep ourselves flowing. Uh, but that is the deck. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys believe of this deck. It has seen some ridiculous play. I'm not expecting to win some matches, but I am in for some fun games on TCG Online's Versus Ladder. Alright guys, match number one is here against CPKM Trujillo. I have no idea if I pronounced that right, but I'm gonna try! Um, he is using the Rayquaza coin. Gonna see if he can go first or second here. I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. He does have to flip that coin in order to do so, but he flips it, we lose the coin toss, so he gets to decide if he wants to go first or second. And depending on the deck, that really could matter here. Um, we want to go first because we are an evolution type, um, and we're not using things like Alolan Vulpix to keep our uh, flow of cards going, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Now, we do have a Crabrawler here. That is very good to start out with. I can go for a Tapu Lele turn one. I can get these lovely Pokemon down. It is actually a very nice start. I can get all three Cabrawlers. I can get a Remorade. It all depends on what is coming. I can even get him a Choke Out. Um, it looks very nice, to be honest with you. Uh, so we are seeing Dark Ride. Ooh! Ooh! This is a nice startup for us. Now, of course, we will not be able to attack this turn uh, just due to the fact that we are. Uh, second, but being as a, our opponent is playing Turbo Dark, they are weak to fighting. This actually could be a very interesting hand for us. I will be getting rid of their Altar of the S Altar of the Moon very quickly. Uh, they do use a setup Shaman. This is literally like a Turbo Dark with Dratini, or er, sorry, with Dragonair is what this is going to be. So we are going to see the Ultra Ball. My opponent should not be going for Dragonair yet. Should not be going for that. I am interested to see what you go for. I'm expecting you to go for a Tapu Lele, and this will get you the support that you want for the turn. Actually goes for a Giratina. A very good play, because now they can use a Double Dragon Energy. Um, the great thing about this is this is not post-rotation for him, so he's still able to use a bunch of these things, but he's going to end... Uh, which I'm a little sad about, because my hand was actually really good. I had a lot of opportunities, um, and I do not have a lot of opportunity here. This time around is really just, let's let's set up and kind of go for it. I still have no energy, by the way. That's the big key part here, is I do not have a way to get those special energies as a consistency. Uh, so we're going to drop him a chop down. Kind of go for our Tapu Lele, and I'm, I'm legit just going to get rid of these, because these are useless to me right now. Um, I want to get top. Of course Tapu Lele is prized. Are we serious here? This is why you run more than one Tapu Lele in Standard. Um, like I said, this is a... Whew, very budget-friendly deck. What do I have in hand? Well, I guess I'm sick of worrying. So I want to get a Remoraid down early. Um, I know that's the weird one, but I'd like to get... I always like getting my support Pokemon down first. Uh, this Just this way, if I get caught on something, I'm not out. And I do get to use my one Sycamore. Um, we can go for a Brooklyn Hill here. 
we have ways of getting our Pokemon now, which is nice. I just don't have a way to get to um, Crabrawler. Uh, we will drop this one down onto our back one. Same thing goes with the Choice Band, just in case. And I have Octillery now in hand, so if my opponent does decide to end, it's fine. But at the same point, I have the ability to kind of just go for... I didn't go for my other Crabomitable, or Crabrawler. I made a misplay. Eh, it happens. I'm not necessarily needing it, so it's okay. And if my opponent doesn't do enough damage, we can scoop him up, but I really don't want to do that either. Um, my opponent does get the Dragonair down, that's fine. And he goes for a Sycamore, um, so we have some huge card... He has some huge card advantage here. Does discard that double Dragon energy though. Uh, he does need that second energy drop onto... Ooh, he does not do it. Uh, does he just retreat into the Dragonair so he can play a whole bunch? That is a possibility. He can't attack this turn. He may not be fearing me right now. Uh, we can go for the town map. This way I can at least scout out my Tapu Lele. And there it is, bottom corner. I wouldn't have seen that for a very long time because it's not usually where I scoop up first. Uh, so I'm going to play the Octillery, but I am going to end first. Now what else am I prized? I've got... Uh, the rest of the cards aren't really a big deal. Um... But we actually can scoop up a knockout here. We're going to go Crabromitable. We're going to just go for this guy here. And I think for the rest of this turn, I'm okay. I can puzzle of time. I can look at the top three cards and kind of replay them. I'd like to get him in this order. Because I feel like my Crabromitable will go down. And I can get the Ace Roll on the following. Uh, we are going to go for a nice... A uh, nice floatstone down onto Octillery. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this Getsy Hammer does 160 naturally. Um, and with the strong energy, I should be hitting for 200. So we will be able to claim... I forgot to go for another Brooklyn Hill. This stadium is doing me not a whole lot of good. Um, we can go for Tapu Lele. At least it's going to be in the deck at this point. And... Uh, I think I'm going to go for a Rescue Stretcher, because in case this guy does go down, um, I can scoop some stuff back up. So this Dragonair is going to go for a Dragon's Wish, but I want to knock out one of these other Dark Eyes ASAP. And that's why I went for the uh, Tapu Lele, because now I can go for a Guzma and start to take these things down. Again, they are going to be the priority for me, and... They are going to have a hard time trying to knock me out. Again, passes the turn. Doesn't even go for the Dragon's Wish. Oh, man. That is a huge misplay on his part. Um, I do just want to go for a Guzma here. We have three of them in the deck. I, I legit just want to go in. I'll go into my Octillery here. I am going to grab a, uh, a Crip Brawler, I think. We'll get, a, we'll get another one going here. But we are just going to grab a U. And uh, we are going to scoop up into this guy. And we're just going to rotate out into our Crabominable. And this will take out a second Darkrai. Uh, this is actually really interesting. And again, I have that opportunity to scoop up my Tapu Lele and then go for another... Uh, another. I'm going to actually scoop up the Super Scoop Up too. Um, and I want the, the Puzzle Time. Uh, so I'm down to just two prizes with only him having the Darkrai left. He's really not playing all that great. He's got such a fantastic deck and he only plays one energy. I think that's game. I don't really need to move anything. I have super scoop ups in case he does decide to Guzma me out. Uh, he does get rid of my stadium, but at this point it doesn't matter. Um, does he just rotate out and go back into Dragonair? He does just go back out into Dragonair. And he should be going for that Dragon's Wish, and he does. So okay, that is fine. I just need to super scoop up. I fail on the super scoop up. Come on. Oh. I just really need to find. I can take the Grabominable.
I am just going to opt to get rid of the Ace of Roller right now because it's really not playing a big hand. And the reason I'm Ultra Balling is because I want another chance at getting... Um, I want another chance to get my Guzma without having to use anything too badly. Uh, I'm just going to Rescue Stretcher, put the Pokemon back into my discard pile, or sorry, back into my deck, um, because I'm just trying to use up some of the cards without having to use Mallow. The Mallow can get me Guzma. It doesn't get me what I want. Did not get me what I want. Um, I'm going to drop an energy down onto Crabrawler. I'm going to search for two cards, put them on top of my deck, and that is going to be a Crabomitable. Oh, hold on. I want a Guzma first, and then Crabomitable. Uh, and this will give me the opportunity to kind of go for them. Uh, but this will take out this Dragonair, so I only need one prize, regardless of the situation. I'm going to take the Nest Ball. I don't need the N at this point. Uh, the N is actually just worse for me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Dark Ride has come up. It will be able to hit me. But I do have a Crabrawler in the back that can hit. Um, I have another strong energy in hand, so if he doesn't end, I'm actually in great shape. He can go for as much damage as he wants, because uh, all he's going to do is claim a prize. He needs to hit with Darkrai. He needs to hit with Darkrai. He can't hit with Giratina, and it's not really going to do him any good anyway. Uh, does play another Shaman. This is a huge setup for him for one prize. Unless he takes a Tapu Lele, then that's two. Don't get me wrong. But unless he ends my hand right now... I'm in an okay position. I'm in an okay position. And even then, I hit for 100. Actually, I have Choice Band on this one. So regardless of the situation, I will be bringing up a Crabrawler. There's really no way he can win this match now. Does play another Giratina with another energy drop. Um, we do see a Sycamore. He's just going all out here. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 160 damage? 180 damage? He's going for another two energy. He is just going all out here. Going for a mill almost. But there's not much he can do. Uh, it does drop another. That's 200 damage. He can go for 200 damage. 220 damage. It's amazing how fast a dark, uh, Dragon's Wish Dragonair can make Darkrai. But unfortunately, like I said, with two of these guys completely set up, he just goes into a Shaman. It don't matter. It don't matter! We take 30. He scoops up. Goes into Giratina. Now, I can't... I got the Guzma! <laughs> oh yeah, I put it on top. Day. I put it up top with Mallow. Uh, so we just go like this, and we actually just win the game. We will uh, retreat into Crabomitable, and Crabomitable actually takes out Turbo Darkrai. 200 damage. I'll take 30 because I have damage counters, but I didn't even lose a Gravomitable! I don't know if it was just my opponent's the way he was playing. He didn't get a chance to set up or anything like that, but Gravomitable showcased just how good he can be! Uh, now, to be fair, we had super effective damage. Usually, we need two attacks to hit. But even still, like even if our opponent was taking just one shots at a time, we were one Gravomitable, then two Gravomitable. And as you can see, we had the ability to kind of keep our momentum going even without it like all I like one at one point I was literally just looking for Guzma I didn't get it but I was able to get it the following turn because of a mallow so a lot of really cool techs are in here to keep yourself going if I had managed to pick up that super scoop up I would have been able to pick up that Tapu Lele and continuously go for a whole bunch of other things but you know what that's the coin flips anyway let's go and check out game number two see if we can manage to pull off another win or even just another entertaining game in general Alright guys, game number two is against JC Steel playing a fire deck, um, or at least it looks like a fire deck. I'm not 100% certain what it will be. Um, he's wearing that Tapu Koko mask, that's actually really cool. Um, really interesting way of doing it. Uh, we got a couple Crabrawlers, we got a nice little opening hand here. Uh, we just need to get the good old Crabrawler. Sorry. Another way around, I say Crabomitables. I meant Crabrawlers, and I said we need to get the Crabrawler, but I really meant we need the Crabomitable. I know I said it weird, but it's okay. It's alright. We, we, you get my point. You get my drift. 
It's going to be a Fennekin deck, so it looks like it'll be Delphox Break that we're going to be playing up against. So again, this could be a longer game because we are not playing um, we're not playing EXs or GXs technically. Uh, this Bridget will definitely tell us what we're going to be playing because uh, the Fennekin just could be support. It is oh, it's definitely Fennekin. Definitely Delphox. Fox. It's definitely Delphox. Fox. So we do see an energy drop onto the the Del the 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 um, my opponent is probably thinking I am not a, a, a player here, so if he ends and whatnot, that's great. He actually gets rid of the end. Two ends! He might have a third in his hand, guys. I might have to worry about it, but he does go for a breaks in here, which is fine. Uh, he will be evolving the one in the back, probably setting up for the... He can't... He can play the X and... No, he can't do that. That's out of, Is it still out of standard? Yeah, it's out of standard. That's X and Y. He's gonna end. It's fine. We're in a great position. My opponent can hit me for a oh, Will-O-Wisp, it's not a big deal. I got the Octillery, I got the Grabomitable, I got a Super Scoop Up. I have all sorts of wonderful things here. Even if he wants to get rid of my Stadium, that is fine as well. Uh, we're in the clear. Uh, he does get the Breaks and Up. We can one-shot that thing, which is great. Just goes for a Destructive Wave uh, and heads. So, uh... I don't have an Energy, so that was great. Um... I want to slow down the energy pursuit here. Uh, we have Octillery up online now. I might just Guzma because it's the only option I really have. Or I can super scoop up the Krabarler in the front and then set it up in the back. Uh, let's do that. Let's see if I can do that. I fail. So that's three super scoop ups that failed today. Uh, we are just going to play this. And... Uh, I'm gonna save that fighting energy. I feel like this one will probably go down here. I want to get a Machop going. Machop going? Let's get another Crabrawler going um, because I don't have them choke in hand anymore. I can go for a Tapu Lele. That is one thing I can use for this Ultra Ball. I don't really want to use it though if I don't have to. Let's go for an Abyssal Hand. We get a Choice Ban. Not really useful. So let's Guzma. We are going to just grab this fe this Stealth Fox up here. Bring up the fresh Cabromitable. Someone who has not taken any hits. And we are just going to knock out one of these Stealth Fox. Or sorry, these Breaksons. Before they set up to be Stealth Fox. Uh, we get a Guzma, which is great. Uh, it means I can kind of rotate around. Do what I need to do. My hand looks identical to how I had it 30 seconds ago. Does bring in the Tapu Lele. Now this is not going to mean too much to me. Uh, I may be psychic weak, but Tapu Lele does not hit for weakness. Uh, that is one of the big crucial points of uh, the energy draft. Now my opponent does bring in the double colorless entry over on Brakeson. Uh, goes for another end. This is fine for me because I only have five cards in hand anyway. And if I can manage to pull a Guzma again, I should be able to go for that attack and take out this Breaks. And if my opponent does that, I still get the Delph, the, the good old Guzma. I do not have an energy though, which is a big problem. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, it does go for the Delph Fox though, so it's going to be it's going to be a game here, guys. Just rare candies up one of the ones in the back, uh, which is a good play. And we're going to see an Oranguru. I would like to knock this guy out before it gets- he does not attack. Okay, so this- this is an opportunity here. I'm gonna sacrifice my Skyla and my Bridget for a Crabominable. Now how many of these are still in here? I got three energy. So if I can get an energy off of this artillery, I can just Guzma and knock out my opponent's Pokemon. Uh, let's put it on the non-damaged one, because I don't want to take damage. Uh, we are just going to play this. Let's go for artillery. Come on, energy! We got it! And we even get a stadium. We can remove your little stadium there. We're going to play the energy drop here. 
And we are going to go for your Delphox. Sorry, your Brakeson. I'm getting them mixed up. It's not my fault. But we are going to go for a Gutsy Hammer. We're going to take out this second one. And that is going to be two Delphox. Two Brakeson down. We got a Flowstone now. So we can actually kind of go back and forth now. And a bunch of Pokemon, which is great. Uh, it is really good. Tapu Lele does come back up. My opponent gets a double colorless energy and does the full-on Delphox break. Uh, 180 damage is going to be hard to deal with. But no fire energy right now means... Well, it's got Flare Witch, so it'll always have fire energy. Um, but we are currently ahead, and as long as we do not play a Tapu Lele, we'll be fine. Uh, not so much now, since we do lose this Float Storm, which I was really excited to have. Uh, but we have Acerola. That's not going to save us any. Uh, my opponent does get the Rare Candy Delphox one more time. Um, we might be in trouble now, but he doesn't switch! Alright, so we get the Floatstone now. We can play a Crabrawler. Play this. So this way we can kind of get these. I'm just going to go for an Abyssal Hand here. This Tapu Lele could get me two prizes here, and I kind of want that. Alright, so we see Fighting Energy. Tapu, oh, Tapu Lele is not even available to me. And, oh, that's a problem. I've got my only two Crabrawlers here in the active positions. I do not want to end. So I'm just going to puzzle of time. And this will let me see what I'm going to get on the following turn. Uh, Ultra Ball... Actually, this I don't have a whole lot of stuff that I really need right now. Now, I'll be hitting for 80, 100, 130 onto this Tapu Lele. So that is a big hit. That is a very big hit. He will want to retreat this out. Or Super Scoop Up or anything like that. He can do it. Uh, double Colorless Energy down onto Delphox. Uh, again, this is a scary play here because he can just go for a double Delphox break and I'll need to deal with it. I will need to deal with it. Uh, we see the Oranguru helping out with the energy, or sorry, the cards. He's got 16 cards left in hand. Um, so he's a lot further into his game than we are. Delphox is prized. Uh, we do see a Flare Witch. He can start setting up all these wonderful Pokemon uh, to get what he wants. He goes for Via Seeker, so he has Guzma in hand. He's going to go for... I don't know what he's going to go for. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. He's just going to go for one of my Crabominables. Uh, it does bring it up. And he's going to hit me for 160. Now, one of the cards you can use is the Dumbbells, and this will give Crabominable that necessary HP to survive. Didn't really think it was necessary. Alright, so we get the strong energy back. Sorry, not the strong energy back. We have options. I really can't see the... I might just end here. I need to get a... I need to get some sort of way to get in here. I need a Guzma to get that Tapu Lele. Let's go for the Machoke. We can just evolve. That'll get it down onto the bench. Um, and at this point, I do want to Abyssal Hand first. If I don't have to use the N, I do not want to. Uh, but I might have to. I'm going to drop a strong energy down here. I'm going to Rescue Stretcher up one of the Crabominables. Because I only have two, so I have to make sure I can keep these guys in play at all times. And at this point, I just want to... I want to sick him more. I don't want to help his hand out. So that is what we are going to do here. I don't have a problem ditching that fighting energy. Uh, still no... Nothing in sight here, though. How many strong energy have I lost? Just the one so far. So my second one will go down here. Guaranteed. Um, but if I hit this one, 
Again, I'm not in a bad position. I will be hitting for a hundred damage. The second one will come in for hitting for another hundred damage, and then I can try and scoop up another hitter. He's just got all these wonderful switch cards that's keeping him at bay here. Goes for an end to try and counter what I've got in my hand, but this is actually working in my favor since I don't have much. I'm really desperate in need of this Guzma. I got a Guzma. Okay, so I, I have a lot of options here. Uh, I have played two. He's going to scoop a rod, put a bunch of stuff back into the deck. And I really want to hit that Tapu Lele for weakness. Or not weakness, but I just want to hit it. Uh, so when I scoop up, or sorry, when I Guzma, I will be going for uh, a Tapu Lele. He has tied this game up, but we are going to take an advantage here uh, by going for that Tapu Lele with the Guzma play. Now, I can go for a nothing. I can't go for anything. I go for a Remoraid drop. I have a Crabrawler on the field, so I can rescue Stretcher. That's fine. I'll be going for a Crabrawler. <sighs> We're going to drop you down. Uh, we are going to retreat into Crabomitable. I am going to grab a few more cards just to be 100% safe on everything. Uh, just to make sure all choices are sound. I can choice. I can put two of our strong energy back in the deck, which is absolutely wonderful. Because this way I can kind of draw them on the following turn. I made a huge misplay. I shouldn't have retreated that artillery. What was I thinking? I retreated. Now, the thing. Now, you're under. Ugh. I just made the biggest goof of my life. We're gonna Guzma up this guy. For my artillery. Um. And I, I made a huge misplay because I meant to retreat with the Guzma, not with my retreat. So in comes another fe fe uh, little Fennekin. Uh, both of these guys are on the bench. Does drop an energy. If he has a Via Seeker, he's going to go for some sort of way of getting this guy out. I have no way of winning this now, though, because I had to play that last Guzma to stall. Just Lysander's up my Machoke. And instructs. <sighs> I made a misplay. I admit to it though. And so let's go for a rescue stretcher. Put some Pokemon back in the deck. Uh, shuffle three in any combination. I only have two Crabominable, sorry, Crabrawlers, because I have not had the opportunity to go for anything else. I think there's another Flowstone in here, so I can still technically retreat. I'm going to go for a Nest Ball play here, so I don't grab either of these two cards in the next turn, and we will go for an end. I am technically helping out my opponent, but we got another strong energy. Strong energies are great, because now I can go into either one of my Crabominables. <sighs> but I don't have a float stone. Can I go for the artillery? Let's go for artillery. Is float stone in here? If float stone is in here, so I have the opportunity to grab it. I'm just going to play that. I do not... Want to play both of these though because now I am actually behind my opponent. There's Floatstone. Okay. We are we are okay. We can still take a knockout here. I will retreat into Crabominable. We are going to just take out this guy here.
I actually should have gone for a Crabomitable, I was not thinking. I'm in a bad position. I'm in a bad position and I'm, I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to go down here. We're so close though! We legit have the wins here, we just need to take out these two mons, but my opponent can just hit me with whatever they want, and he's just gonna take damage! That's all I'm gonna be doing, is taking damage here. So down goes another Crabominable. Um, I don't do enough damage to these things. Twenty forty. You see, he can still come in and knock me out. I can sacrifice my Machoke. Do I have another Puzzle of Time? Yes. Yes, I do. There is another Puzzle of Time in this deck. One of the six cards is a Puzzle of Time. Puzzle of Time will help me get my... Um, I'm gonna pass. It, it can get me my Guzma. It can get me two Guzmas. <sighs> so I'm not out of this, but oh, I'm, I'm definitely out of this. He'll hit me here. He doesn't hit me! Oh my jeez, I think we just won the game because of that! I just want to go for two Guzmas, right? Because I can go for one, take out my Crabomitle, and then attack on the following turn. I, I just want two- I just want two Guzmas! Whew! He should have attacked, because we are going to take this game now. We're going to take out Tapu Lele, because I want two prizes. Uh, I'm going to take both. I, I'm going to take both of these just in case, uh, because this will give me a better chance. Even if I get end down to one, I have a. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I am in such a close game call. I have a Guzma in hand for this other Delphox break. We can still win this. I can't believe we can still win this. Goes for the Psy Storm, does knock out my Crabominable. I need to go into one of the non Crabrawler Pokemon. This is gonna be Octillery right now. We're going to evolve. Go strong energy, Guzma, and we'll have won this matchup. I should not have won this match. I made a lot of misplays, huge misplays, but we came through. We came through with that double puzzle of time. Whew! What a game! The ferocious power of... Delphox could not overcome the power of Crabominable! I think it, there were misplays on both sides. 100% I, I misplayed. I, I caught the one that immediately made me lose. Um, I shouldn't have won this game. I should not have won this game. Uh, but gang, bo both of those puzzles of time legit got me back my two Guzma. They got me back into this game. I was able to get all of our utility back pretty much. It was so good! Um, Overall, Crabominable is a very fun deck. It's not going to be meta by any means, because, let's be honest here, it does 100 damage. With a strong energy. Um, it can do 130 with a um, strong, uh, with a choice band. But with that being said, it is so fun to play. Uh, it can pick up some huge prizes, and you can keep yourself on the trade really well. So, with that though, 
Um, I think this deck is a lot of fun. You guys gotta try it out. Let me know your combinations. Uh, let me know the things that you've used. And as far as I know, everything went in here was post rotation. So I might. I, it should be my brain. My brain right now just in hyper overdrive. It's kind of just. I don't. I don't understand how I won that game. <laughs> but needless to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand new here, please hit that subscribe because it means the world to me. You guys come out and watch the, vid the videos on the regular. Uh, but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.